us so much yes hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel or if you're new thanks for tuning in today's video is the second part of my holiday haul i told you guys this was coming because i just had way too much stuff number one and number two i was waiting on more stuff to come in there will be <laughs> there will be a part three because i know sephora is gonna have a sale on sale for like the christmas week or something like that i don't know but it's coming and my stuff's already sitting in my cart and then your girl is done for a while so enjoy these hauls because we may not have any for a while before we get into the video if you're new welcome to the channel and we'd love to have you be a part of the family so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time that i upload i upload twice a week and i film haul videos tutorials makeup reviews and a little bit of fitness stuff sprinkled in so if that's what you're into you're gonna love the channel i'm not gonna keep you guys waiting any longer because i'm excited to play with this stuff since i haven't even touched it since i got it in if you want to see what else I picked up during the holiday sales, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So most of this stuff is, no, all of this stuff is from individual brands. It's not Sephora, it's not Ulta. So we're going to start off with Colored Rain. I told you guys how much I love their sponges. So, they were on sale for $3, and I bought six of them. They come in different colors, but they're all the same thing. They come in these little boxes. So, there's this orange one, then there's a green one, and there is a yellow one. So, I am glad they're called Apple Rain, Tangerine, and the yellow one doesn't have a name? I thought it was Lemon something. Well, there's no name on the box. The others have names on the boxes. This is what the sponge looks like. It has a flat edge here. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. But these are so soft and I fell in love after I hauled two in a set from another order I placed. And so when these went on sale, I knew I had to have more. I also picked up a pair of tweezers from them and a pair of scissors just because I don't like paying for shipping. So... I would rather pay for extra products than pay for shipping. And then I picked up, actually, here are the scissors. And then the tweezers are also purple. So I just keep these in my drawer to cut my lashes if I need to. And then this cute little tumbler was only $3. So it comes with this plastic straw. Definitely excited just because I drink a lot of water. So... This will be cute for water or cocktails. I need to new, do another lipstick and libations for you guys. I haven't done that in a while. So you will probably see this in that video. The next thing I want to show you guys, actually I'm going to show all this stuff together because it is not makeup related, but I told you guys that I was going to try to start getting better about my wig application and the different stuff that I can get to help kind of make all that look more flawless so i placed an order on tailored crown's website and i got their lace tint there is so much i have to learn about wigs so i don't know if i'm ever going to post about that on my channel but a lot of times when you order wigs the lace comes in like a medium brown and a lot of times it's too light or it'll look a little ashy so you have to put makeup on your lace I wanted to try the lace tint to see if it makes the application process easier and helps it melt better. They did have a sale. I picked up the shade Cafe. So I got two bottles of that. And then I got one bottle by itself. And then the other bottle came in this set that also comes with a styling foam and a wax stick. That is what I got from Tailored Crowns. I've never ordered anything from them. I've heard a lot of good stuff about this, but I've never tried it. So I'll keep you guys posted on how this works. So the next thing that I got, after my disappointment with the Natasha Denona Trio Chrome palette, I went on the hunt for some multi-chrome shadows. And y'all know I have my ones from Sydney Grace. And I've been hearing a lot about some other companies 
There was one I wanted to try, Davina, but like all their stuff was sold out and then they had a Black Friday sale and it was sold out before I could even get on the website, which annoyed the crap out of me. But I found this website called Notoriously Morbid and they had, I think they had pressed ones as well, but I decided to pick up the semi-pressed, it's pretty much a loose pigment, but they are all multi-chrome. And the reason I got them in this format is because I picked up a mixing medium, Maron, the mixing medium like over the summer and I still have not used that yet. And to use that, you have to scrape off some of your eyeshadow and put it in a dish or a pan or something and then mix it with the medium. So I was like, well, why don't you just get your multi-chrome shadows already in loose form so that way you don't have to mess up the pressed ones. I was happy because I picked up three of them and I think these were on sale for 15 bucks, but this is a pretty nice size container. And then I didn't know this was going to happen, but they actually sent this cute little Christmas one. I don't know. I'm trying to see if you guys can see the shade in it without it reflecting off the light. That is what this one looks like. So you can see it has some green and some red. This one is called Elf Cliffhanger Misadventure, and it is a multi-chrome, yeah, it says gift with purchase. This one is in the shade Death, which has this blue, purple, I think you can only see the blue right now. Yeah, you can kind of see the different shades there. And then this one is Delirium, which kind of looks like the other one. Didn't realize that, but you can see the shift in the jar there. And then I picked up Destiny, which is this kind of greenish, purplish. So this is the cap of Destiny, the inside. So I don't know if you can see the shifts there. I'm gonna swatch it or try to swatch it. So if you look there on my finger, you can see this is Destiny. See, so swatching it on my hand. Very, very pretty. And I'm seeing a lot more green than I think it's picking up on here. So that's that one. Then I'll show you this is Death. This is what it looks like in the cap. And then this is what it looks like on my finger. It looks super blue, but there is a purple undertone to it. Oh, it's not picking up the purple. I don't think you guys can see that. I can definitely see it. Oh, my lights are not helping. This just looks so blue, but I promise you. There, you can kind of see it. And then the last one, I could just imagine mixing these, how pretty it's going to be. Okay, and then the next one is Delirium. This is what Delirium looks like. It looks a little similar. I'm going to actually put it right next to it so you can see the difference. I can see the difference in the shift on my hand. I just don't think the camera... Oh, there you go. So you can see the difference. They are kind of similar. I didn't realize they were that similar when I ordered them. But that's what happens when you order online. But either way, gorgeous colors, super shiny, and I cannot wait to use them the mixing medium will literally just make them like liquid gold or liquid <laughs> not gold but whatever color this is so i'm going to also show you the one that was the gift with purchase so that's what it looks like in the cap it's not as bright or as vibrant as the others so that's it there this one just looks more like a glitter shadow you can barely see it. It's almost like an olive, but it has a little bit of red to it. Oh, well, you can kind of see it. If the light hits it just right, you can see the red. But anyway, these shadows are gorgeous and I cannot wait to use them. The next group of products that I'm going to show you is from Clinique. They had a sale. It was 30% off 
and then it was 10% cash back at Rakuten. I've told you guys about this before. If you don't use Rakuten, you are literally just basically giving away money. Basically, like when you go to their website and use their extension to shop at other stores, you earn cash back. So a lot of this stuff I order especially through there because you're already getting the sale prices and then your cash back accumulates and every quarter you get a big fat check where you'll either get a PayPal deposit or you can get a check mailed to you. But so like my last big fat check was 40 bucks and then with all the sales and all the double cash back, triple cash back and the orders that I have placed, I have like $300 sitting right now that I'm going to get back in February or March. So Clinique had 10% cash back on top of their 30% sale. So I picked up one of their take the day off cleansing balms. This is my favorite cleansing balm. I used the pharmacy one everybody talked about. It's okay. I just like the slip of this one a lot better. I feel like it smooths and spreads better. And I feel like it dissolves better because you can move it around more and not feel like you're massaging too hard on your face, if that makes sense. The other thing that I picked up is this Moisture Surge Eye 96 Hour Hydro Filler Concentrate. I was watching Nicole Guerrero and she was talking about how she loves using this under her eyes because it helps to hydrate and kind of plump. So it basically kind of helps if you have really bad under eye wrinkles or you feel like your under eyes get dry. This says break spears before applying. Well, now I'm curious because I didn't open this. It says auto replenishing lipid spear technology. So this is what it looks like. And as you can see, it has those little balls in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's different color little spheres. So you just pump this out. And it says, ooh, and it's kind of sticky. Oh, this feels so nice. It doesn't really have a smell, but you definitely will not need a full pump. That's a full pump. That is too much to put under my eyes, but I cannot wait to use that because she was raving about how great it is and it works well under her concealer. And then this last thing, y'all, this big old thing is like a $200 value and it was 50 bucks. And inside, I believe you get, I think it said like, let me see. This is what the inside looks like. These are all full size products. These are not skimping. So I was like, that is too good of a deal to pass up, especially for skincare. So, I like the box already, but I was happy because it comes with another full size of this. So I have two of these eye creams or eye balms. And then it also has this Moisture Surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. So another moisturizer. There is a Moisture Surge overnight mask. Y'all know I've been on my hydrating kick lately. There's also this Clinique Smart Night Custom Repair Moisturizer. So that's what this looks like. Targets wrinkles, brightens, firms, and imparts radiance. Yes, we are here for all of it. And then this is their Fresh Press Daily Booster with Pure Vitamin C, 10%. So... Oh, this says activate with cap oil and use within seven days. Well, I've got to make sure I remember that when I open this. And then it also comes with this all about clean rinse off foaming cleanser. I've never tried this before, but it says, oh, I don't think I'm going to use this. It says combination oily to oily. I don't know if I'm going to try it or I'm going to gift it, but put that back and then it came with two makeup products which is their high impact mascara I'm pretty sure I have these from other gift sets I've gotten and then this plum pop lip color and primer 
and it is a lipstick and that's the shade I definitely thought 50 bucks for all of this absolutely because that eye primer that eye gel whatever is like 30 I want to say $35 I don't remember but definitely worth it these other products that I got there's a bit of a mixture here in this box this first thing I did get some more multi chromes from Lorena Cosmetics which I think I saw them on Instagram I picked up four from them these are also in the little pot so these are loose I picked up the shades Center Vanity Pride and Greed so these are how they are packaged and they come in these little pots and these are all individually sealed so you can kind of see the color through right there but this is the shade pride so this is what the bottom looks like then this is greed so it's this red green shift then this one is vanity and then this one is center these are all individually sealed and it has this little protective cap on top. It's going to make such a mess. I'm just going to show you. So that's the top. So you can see it's blue. Then it goes a little red, pink. I can see these so much better than I feel like. Okay, so there's the shades. So you can definitely see the shift on that one. That's the shade center. Next one is the shade Pride. So you can see the purple there. And then when I turn it, it's green. Ooh, that is pretty. And y'all know purple and green is like my favorite. So there you see that one. We see purple. We see green. I feel like there's blue in there too. I just know I'm going to have to be careful when I'm mixing these that I don't use too much because that is going to be hard. The next one is Greed. This one has a green to red shift. Ooh, oh, I feel like that one's smoother than the other ones. That does not remind you of Natasha Denona in For Nude. Tell me it does not. Or... Maybe even Pat McGrath, Sextraterrestrial. And then this last one, again, is Vanity. This one actually looks kind of similar. So this is green to purple. It's crazy because that's how it looks on my finger, like super dark. That does not look like what I just showed you. And then that's the shade there. So you can definitely see the multi-chrome in that one. Ooh, this is going to be fun. All right, the next thing we got, I have been wanting to order from Juno & Co. for so long because I always see it on Instagram and everybody's talking about how good their primer is. So I finally ordered, I picked up their setting powder. That was the main thing that got me to order because I kept seeing on Instagram this clip where they would put water in the in the box and it wouldn't even mix with the powder this packaging is super cute rose gold at the top and then i just i can't wait to use this under my eyes it is a translucent but just the fact especially during the summer so it looks white it looks absolutely white in the packaging it is that net mesh at the top and then the powder looks white and then blend it out on my hand. It definitely is going to brighten. So I'm going to have to be careful with that not to look ashy. This is, it says their Juno Blur Makeup Setting Powder in Translucent. The next thing that I got from them, I did pick up, they also have a cleansing balm, which I've never tried before and I don't think I've heard anybody talk about it. So I think I just picked it up because, again, I did not want to pay for shipping. So 
I was just like, well, you always going to use these anyway, so why not try a new one? This one does say Clean Tin Cleansing Balm. It has 10 ingredients, only 100% clean with vitamin E. I will let you guys know how this one compares to my Clinique, but this is what the packaging looks like. Get a good bit of product in here. Comes with a little spatula. It kind of smells a little lemony. Not bad at all. Definitely would make me feel like it's a refreshing kind of clean. So I'll keep you posted on that one. And then this is the primer. And this is called their Moonshine Miracle Cream. I like this box. It kind of gives me Charlotte Tilbury vibes. It says, this is made to hydrate and prime the skin to perfection. Wear under makeup to create the perfect canvas or wear alone to moisturize for naturally glowy, dewy skin. Yes, indeed. Look at this. I just love how this looks like a little spaceship. Ooh, she thick. Look at that. That is not going nowhere. Very thick cream. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand just to see. Has a little bit of a scent. Not bad. It's right there on my hand. So you can definitely see there's a little bit of a glow. Feels very smooth. These other three items, I just picked these up honestly because it was $10 for the whole thing. And you didn't even have to pay for shipping. And then it prompted me to buy something else because that was also on sale for $10. So this is from Laura Geller and they had this trio. Well, it's four things actually. There are two illuminating drops. These are called their Dew Dreamer illuminating drops and then two illuminating sticks. So the first illuminating stick is in Gilded Honey and it comes in this little black packaging, but it's just basically like a stick highlighter. So it's very, very pretty. That one's Gilded Honey, which we know was one of their like cult favorites. I do have that highlighter actually. And then this one is called Diamond Dust. Ooh, so this is a white. And then, oh, this is one of those kind of didn't expect that shift. So that's it right there. Gilded Honey is here. And then this is the other one. Then the other two liquid illuminating drops are in the shade Diamond Dust and Opal Crush. This is Diamond Dust and it is a straight up liquid and it comes with a dropper. So this is what the dropper looks like. And then so I'm going to try to put this on my other hand. This is what it looks like on my hand. And then when I blend it out, ooh, that is what that looks like. And then the other shade, Opal Crush, looks very similar in the bottle. Oh, this one looks more purple. These things are shiny. I don't know what I would use. I would have to like really blend that out. And then the last thing I picked up is their Filter First Luminous Foundation. I got this in the shade Pecan. I'll show you guys what this one looks like. This is the bottle, kind of giving me Laura Mercier vibes. And it does come with a pump. And like I said, this was on sale for 10 bucks. That is what it looks like. Very runny. And then that is it blended out on my skin. I think the color match will be a little dark, but it's definitely more my preference than getting something that is too light. So I will be able to make that one work for sure. These are a few random things that I picked up. These two products I got on Urban Decay's website. I picked up their Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer Long Wear Foundation Grip Prep Smooths and Perfects. I love all of the All Nighter products. And they used to be my favorite when I had really oily skin. 
So I've decided to pick this one up because it says like a stage five clinger, the all nighter face primer grips your foundation and won't want to let it go. Picked it up because it said hydrating and it said gripping. I don't know how, well it says smooth, so hopefully it'll be good for pores, but I have not tried this yet, so I will let you know what I think about this one. I'll probably use it on camera first. I also picked up their Drop Shot. This is their Mix-In Facial Oil. It says it's a lightweight fluid foundation booster. And it says, create your own luxurious skin softening complexion cocktail. Add a shot of this Mix-In Oil to foundation for a conditioned skin and a dewy radiant glow. I have showed you guys that recently I have been picking up face oils, so this is what it looks like. I love the purple. And yeah, it's just a face oil, but I don't have any specifically that say, I'm trying to see how light weight this is compared to everything else. It doesn't really smell. Yeah, it feels pretty light. I don't know that it feels any lighter than any other face oil that I have, like why this one is so good specifically to put in foundation versus any of the other ones, but whatever. It was on sale and I have a lot of matte foundations that I don't wear right now because I don't want matte foundations. So it'll be able to, it'll be good to be able to go back and use those, mixing them in with my oil. So. Barbara's just making excuses. She wanted to try something and she bought it. That's what happened. My last five products, four, five. These are from Pat McGrath. And I, as soon as she had her Black Friday sale, and if you ordered over $150, which is nothing on Pat McGrath's website, you got 30% off. And then there was also 6% cash back on Rakuten. So swipe, done. I got a backup of the concealer. This is in the shade M17. This is my favorite concealer. I have found two scents that kind of remind me of it. The Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. And what did I try on today? Kylie. Kylie Skin kind of gave me the same vibe. So I think it's just how smooth they blend out and the fact that they're not mattifying. Very similar textures. I also picked up her loose setting powder which I don't know if I picked this up just to hit my 150 <laughs> total because I probably should have just got another under eye setting powder this says it's the skin fetish sublime perfection setting powder I got the shade medium deep four so this is gonna be an all-over face powder I think another reason why I picked this up is because I don't have a high-end loose setting powder for my full face. I Well, no, I lie. I have one by Lancome, but I wanted another one. Y'all know Pat McGrath packaging. And then this is the shade that it said, ooh, okay, I didn't know this had the net. I'm not going to, this is what the shade looks like. This is actually a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. It said this was for the shades... It was within my skin tone group of the foundation, but that looks a little dark. I didn't have eyeshadows in my last haul, but I did get these. I picked up the Celestial Divinity Luxe Quad in Interstellar Icon. These colors, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I saw them and I was like, yeah, this looks different or different enough that I can justify saying that I need these. So that's what the shades look like. That kind of bronzy brownish color. That's the four shades. So I don't feel like this is too much of a duplicate. I know, I think the shade is called Bordeaux, is a, no, it's not Bordeaux. It's called Blue Blood. I think that's a duplicate from another palette and I'm pretty I don't think I have that one so I'm not mad about it because it is new to me and then the other one I picked up is this is Risqué Rose I think I picked this one up because it's gorgeous <laughs> look at how pretty this is yeah 
Ooh, that shade is really soft. All these shades are like, those two shimmer shades are soft. Like I pushed into them and look at the indention that it's made. Oh, Lord. So you can see it kind of has a dent in it. Ooh, that brown is deep. So those are the swatches for that. I know you guys have seen these already, but I have not played in them, so I had to do this. And then last but not least, I saved the best for last because I have been eyeballing this and I refused, refused, refused to pay $65 for a highlighter. I had no idea. This is heavy. Like this is probably two pounds or three pounds. This highlighter, it's a champagne gold. It is the Pat McGrath Illuminator. Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Illuminator. Y'all, this gold, this little tin is heavy. And it's not just your standard flip up top. You have to screw it off. So now you get to the highlighter. That's why this is so expensive for the packaging alone. Look at how gorgeous this is. I don't even want to stick my finger in there, but ain't no way I'm not swatching this. Oh my, yes, so much yes. This is it swatched by itself, and then this is blended out. That is so pretty. Oh my God, I am so glad I got it, but I still just can't get over this packaging. This is absolutely stunning. It's gonna be full of fingerprints, but this is super luxurious. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and comment below letting me know what item I picked up that you thought was like the best of all of them. I'm curious to see what you guys thought. As y'all know, I'm excited about the eyeshadows and the highlighter. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video and I will see you guys in the next one. See you soon. Bye.